Yeah. Yeah. For the GFA. Yeah. You have hard questions. <laughs> Thank you. Half a day, everyone. Uh, we're here for a very wonderful occasion, and that is to celebrate the um, and to recognize the Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers Association on the occasion of their 54th anniversary charity ball, and to commend them to each of the members of the Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers Association for their continued service and contributions to the people of Guam. Now, I'm very proud of what they have done, and so I want to share that with you all. First of all, this Volunteers Association, we know them commonly as the Pink Ladies, or fondly, and, uh, but they were founded in 1965 by the late Cecilia Bamba and a group of her friends with the belief that women of Guam are most sensitive to the needs of the community. And they would bring women together to address the various needs of the hospital and its patients. The mission of the Guam Memorial Hospital's Volunteer Association is to work in partnership, of course, with the Guam Memorial Hospital Authority in rendering voluntary services to the hospital and staff, to its patients, its families, and its visitors, to engage in charitable fundraising activities, and to seek grants, donations, and bequests for the purpose of securing funds to be used for the improvement of quality of health care at GMHA. The work of the volunteers, their members fosters an intimate relationship with the people who come to the hospital for healing. The volunteers' willingness to escort mobile patients to their rooms, provide reassurance and words of comfort, to engage with patients and their families, to lift their spirits in often difficult circumstances. The association has grown over the years to 150 at least today, and volunteers have donated countless hours in various projects and organizing signature events which are aimed at fu raising funds and also inspiring our community to help our beloved hospital. In recent years, the hospital has received essential equipment and valuable services through the ambitious fundraising. These include donations of a laryngoscope, a cardiac monitoring system, a pediatric nasal ventilator, a video colonoscope, patient beds, specialized ICU patient beds, operating room sterilization equipment, respirators, ultrasound units, life pack, uh, sorry, life pack monitor defibrillator sets, bariatric beds, transport vehicles, sleeper chairs, television units, EKG, EDG, bladder scanners, a pulmonary function testing system, patient room lights, window treatments, room seating benches, and many more hospital improvements. That list is just fantastic, if I may say so. <laughs> so, one of their signature events is the annual GMHA VA charity ball. It's the highlight of the Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers Association's yearly fundraising events. The first charity ball was held in 65, 1965 at the Guam Recreation Center in Anigua. The theme was My Fair Lady and everyone dressed in black and white. Since that first charity ball, every year has had different themes and fundraising goals. And of course, proceeds went to purchase of some of the equipment that we mentioned and, and other awareness projects and other technology. But this year the, was the 54th anniversary, anniversary charity ball. The theme was giving is healing. I was there myself with, with some of the other senators and uh, the tables were full. It was very fun and it was, uh, they had some unique activities such as an auction of of a live auction of live people, live services, and it was very fun, and, uh, and so I wanted to, to just put that in there, too. We had, uh, but we were, the, the best part about the ball for me was that we were surrounded by not just the volunteers, but also their families, by the hospital administrators and staff, and the doctors were there, and they were, we were just surrounded by people who love the hospital, love the people of Guam, and have dedicated their lives to helping all of us. 
So I'm proud to announce that they set a fundraising goal for this 54th anniversary charity ball at $200,000. And if I may have Joyce come up here. Joyce is the, the president of the Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers Association, and she says that was her goal, $200,000. <laughs> and that they actually met that goal this year. Yes. Joyce's daughter, Jennifer Chrysostomo Camacho, she was the chairperson of this ball this year, so I want to commend her also. The fundraising proceeds of, of this year's charity ball is to purchase new vital equipment such as a V60 BiPAP C and AVAPS and a VIA ventilator, a surgical table model 5086 Steris, and an electrosurgical platform generator that will help improve the respiratory department and operating room. Again, we, all the members, and I'm, I'm honored to have the speaker here with me, Senator Amanda Shelton, Senator Joseph Augustine, Senator Luis Munoz, Senator Pito Terlai, we're all here and on behalf of all of our colleagues and people of Guam to commend the Guam Memorial Hospital's Voluntary Association on the occasion of its 54th anniversary charity ball, to commend the members, each of you, for your continued service and contributions to the people of Guam, and of course, to commend the success of this ball and to it, the, chair, the president of the association and the chairperson of the annual ball, Jennifer Chrysostomo Camacho. To do this, Maasi, to all of you, and we, we are presenting you, the speaker may help me, uh, with resolution number 129 35. Hospital and of course our oversight chair. We just want to extend our own dunk and it's a small Thank you. And God Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. I, I, so this one is also for Jen, oh, for the chairperson. Okay. And I'd like to ask you to invite you to please say a few words. Uh, oh, if you'd like okay. To. Maybe you can share your your secrets of your success. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no Good secrets charm. actually. <laughs> Half a day. Uh, Buenas Magufam Nit GMH Volunteer Association put Estina Silibishoan. In Guaiza Hamzu Todu, Todu Tau Tauta, Man Magufam na in Setsegui Todu Esti I Bula na Ora in in Anai Tatipa is Pitat sa Ginin Ginin Ikurason Mami. Esti Muna Mamagufam Todu. It's in a Bula Hamsi na members, okay? Pus. Um, Si Jesus Mosi pa ili has the the turan pa todo itsitsu mizu uh in guaiza hamzu Thank you so much. They said what is the secret? There really isn't any secret that not any or any of you know. It's all about the asking and the love and passion that you have. If you know in your heart that is as a reason, it's a good reason then it is the right thing to do. So I believe that the GMH Volunteer Association, all of our members have this passion, the passion for our hospital, for the people that come through. It is our only public hospital and civilian hospital. So naturally, I think it comes with the asking. This year, our theme is giving is healing. It is so true. And we as GMH Volunteer Association, we know this, and we know that even through hard times for the GMH uh, in their budget, uh, we are asking once again our legislature to consider it uh, because not only do we, we think and we look at all this, this is a partnership. This is our mission as GMH volunteer, and the mission is really very simple. It is a collaboration, a partnership, to which we know that we are the instrument of the GMH. And so when we know that uh, it's hard times, uh, sure, yes, they say, uh, especially during campaign time, they say it's harder. We're fighting with, with our community who are giving to, uh, for the campaign. But we know that in each and every one of us here, 
This is our culture. This is how we survive, is that we all help one another. And so I'd like to close by saying that this, this will continue. It's an annual uh, asking. And uh, we hope that uh, each one of our senators uh, will consider today, uh, is, as it is uh, the GMH budget hearing, that what GMH will ask for, na isiha sa manisisita gispitat, we need the money. And so uh, I leave you with that. Um, our community, please support the GMH constantly. Okay, constantly, because at the end of the day, you ask yourselves, when you are not in need of an emergency, for instance, you have a choice. You have a choice of where to go to find medication, to get you know, the medical attention you need. But when it's time of emergency, who would they go to? We do not turn people away at GMH. So please, everybody, the giving is healing. So we've been praying hard for this day, the budget hearing day, and we support GMH thoroughly, through and through. So senators, dig deep. It's there. Find it, and we will do well at GMH. Jesus Masi. Joyce, Joyce has perfect timing because we are following this resolution presentation with GMH's budget. But again, congratulations and, and our commendation to all of you GMHA volunteers, to the, to the donors and your supporters and your families for, for their sacrifices and their dedication to our hospital. And to do us masi. If I could ask uh, the doctors to join us up here, we'll have a picture with our volunteers, please. Yes. Mm -hmm.